Do you want to go live on YouTube, but you just don't know where to start? There's one really important thing that you have to tick off your to-do list before you can hit the go live button. I'm Chantelle Hills, and on this channel, I love to talk about the ins and outs of live streaming. It can be really daunting getting ready for that first live stream. You don't know where to start. It feels like you've got so many hoops that you've just got to keep jumping through. I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to get started. Before we consider to even start going down the gear rabbit hole, you need to verify your YouTube channel. This isn't the fancy tick. This is the YouTube verification so that you can go live. This step needs to be completed at least 24 hours, if not longer, before you plan to have your first live stream. Once you have verified your account, live streaming is not all that you can do. You can also upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. You can add custom thumbnails and you can appeal content ID claims. Later in the video, we're going to have a little look through of the types of things you can't live stream and what the potential outcomes of those would be. The very first thing that you need to do to set up your YouTube channel is to get verified. And it's really simple. All you need to do is go to www.youtube.com forward slash verify and follow the prompts. There's one more thing that you need to check before you can go live, and that's to ensure that you've had no restrictions on your YouTube channel for 90 days. Now that this is all done, you just need to wait the 24 hours, jump back in, double check you've got your green verify tick, and then you're ready to go live. So now that you can live stream, what sorts of things can't you live stream? Just like uploaded videos on YouTube, live streams have to follow the same guidelines and rules. So the terms of service and the community guidelines. If you are scheduling a stream that even suggests that you're planning on breaking the community guidelines or terms of service, then YouTube have outlined some possible consequences. Your content may get age restricted or they may even just outright remove your live stream. YouTube reserves the right to then also restrict your ability to stream at all. If your live stream is restricted, you may also receive a strike on your account. A strike will prevent you from live streaming anywhere from 14 days to 90 days. If your account has been restricted from live streaming, this means you can't live stream anywhere on any channel, even on other channels that you already own. This policy applies for as long as the YouTube restriction is in place and YouTube are really clever at working out if it's the same place you're streaming from. Violation of the restriction, as in trying to stream or continuing to stream on other channels, is considered circumvention, which is against YouTube's terms of service. And it actually may result in the termination of your account. And you also need to remember that YouTube can work out if you're logging into other accounts and they may also terminate those accounts as the agreement is with you as the individual and you have received the strike. Taking this a little bit forward, the other thing to remember is that there's a possibility that every time you create a new account, YouTube could just come in and once they work out it's you, they could actually just delete the account as well. So don't do that. So now you can go live. You've worked out what you can't live stream. What do you want to talk about in your live streams? If you like this video and have found, found it in any way useful or helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. I've also added a video here that might be of interest to help you on your journey and I'll see you in the next video.